In this lesson, we're going to solve quadratics by factorizing. For question A, the quadratic has already been factorized into two brackets. 2x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 3 will equal 0. So the solutions for x to make this equation equal 0 are when each bracket equals 0. So 2x plus 1 must equal 0. So 2x will equal negative 1 and x will equal negative 1 half. And when the other bracket equals 0, x plus 3 will make 0. So x will equal negative 3. And we can check that these work. If we put the negative half into the original bracket, two lots of negative one half plus one. Two lots of negative a half is minus one plus one, and that does make zero. Similarly, if we put negative three into the second bracket, negative three plus three will equal zero. So the solutions are x equals negative one half and x equals negative three. So question B, we have 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals 0. So we're going to factorize it first of all into two brackets. And this term multiplied by this term is going to make the 2x squared. So it's got 2x and x. And this term multiplied by this term is going to make a 1. So the only way of getting 1 is 1 times 1. So 2x plus 1 and x plus 1 equals 0. We can check this works. We have 2x squared plus 2x plus x plus 1, which is 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. That equals 0. So the solutions are when each bracket equals 0. So when 2x plus 1 equals 0, x will be equal to negative 1 half. And when x plus 1 equals 0, x will equal negative 1. So question C, 5x squared minus 6x minus 8 will equal 0. So we have two brackets, 5x in one bracket and x in the other bracket, and that will equal 0. And two numbers that multiply to make negative 8. We have 1 and negative 8, 2 and negative 4, or negative 1 and positive 8, and negative 2 and positive 4. Now, this term times that term added to this term must make negative 6. So we're going to multiply one of these by 5 and add it to the other one. So the negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Negative 10 and 4 will make negative 6. So we're multiplying the negative 2 by 5 and the positive 4 must go in this bracket. So the solutions are when 5x plus 4 equals 0. So 5x will equal negative 4, x will equal negative 4 fifths. And when x minus 2 equals 0, x will equal 2. For question D, we have 3x squared minus 11x minus 4 equals 0. So we have two brackets, 3x and x. And numbers that two numbers that multiply to make negative 4 are negative 1, positive 4, negative 2, and positive 2, or 1 and negative 4. One of them will be multiplied by 3 in this expression and multiplied by x to make negative 11x, which is 3 times negative 4 to make negative 12, negative 12 add 1 makes negative 11. So this will be negative 4 and that will be positive 1. So 3x and 1 must equal 0. 3x will equal negative 1. x will equal negative 1 third. 
x minus 4 will equal 0, so x will equal 4. And finally, the question 80, we have 4x squared plus 4x minus 3 equals 0. This is slightly more complicated because we have two brackets again, but this time you could have a 4x and an x, or you could have a 2x and a 2x. And both of these terms would make the 4x squared. So it's more complicated because the value of a in this term is not a prime number. And in both cases, the equation will equal 0. So the factors of negative 3 are 1 and negative 3 and negative 1 and positive 3. Now one of them, when multiplied by 4, added to the other term, will make positive 4. And you can see in this example, if this was a 3, then you would have 12 added to the negative 1. That wouldn't make 4. If it was negative 3, you'd have negative 12 added to the other 1, and that wouldn't make positive 4x. So it cannot be these combinations. But if we try again with the other set of brackets, when we have 2 times 3, positive 3, we have 6, and then 2 times negative 1, we have minus 2, and that would make the 4x term. So the solutions are when 2x minus 1 equals 0, so x will equal 1 half. Or when 2x plus 3 equals 0, so 2x will equal negative 3, and x will equal negative 3 over 2. Thank you for watching, I hope you found it useful, and check out MrMathematics.com for the full lesson and worksheet.